electric field due to system of charges. Let us consider n charged particles q1, q2, q3 dash dash qn are placed at r1, r2, r3 dash 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 rn distance from point P. In order to explain this what I am going to do, I am going to use this information to draw a figure. So here is my figure where P is the point and what we are trying to do, we are trying to find the magnitude of the electric field at point P due to all these charged particles which is q1 q2 q3 q4 dash 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 qn minus 1 qn and these charged particles are basically r1 r2 r3 dash 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 r in distance from point p then the net electric field at point p due to the system of charges is given as we will write vector e is equal to e1 plus e2 plus e3 plus dash 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 en so basically what we are doing we are trying to find the magnitude of electric field due to each individual charged particle such as q1 q2 q3 dash 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 qn and then what we are doing we are trying to add them as a vector so in order to do this what I'm going to do I'm going to find the electric field due to each charged particle such as q1 q2 q3 dash 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 qn so let's find the electric field at point p due to charge q1 is given as e1 is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 over r1 square in the same way the magnitude of electric field at point p due to charge q2 is given as e2 is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q2 over r to square. In the same way we can find the magnitude of electric field due to all the other charged particles from q1, q2, q3 all the way to qn. So let's find the electric field due to charged particle qn and if we do that we will write similarly the magnitude of the electric field at point p due to charge qn is given as en is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 qn over rn square. Now in order to find the total electric field what I am going to do I am going to substitute the value of e1 e2 e3 dash dash en in this equation and if we do that we will write e is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 over r1 square plus 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q2 over r2 square plus 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q3 over r3 square plus dash 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 plus 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 qn over rn square. If you look closely you will see that 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 is common from all these terms. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take 1 over 4 pi epsilon in a common and if I do that I will write E is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 outside the bracket and then inside the bracket we have Q1 over R1 square plus Q2 over R2 square plus Q3 over R3 square plus dash 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 plus Qn over Rn square. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the sigma function to find the sum of all these electric fields and if we do that we will write E is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 sigma I is equal to 1 to N Qi over Ri square. If you want to write the magnitude of the net electric field at point P in a vector form we will write vector E is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 sigma I is equal to 1 to N QI over RI square vector RI and this is basically known as the principle of superposition for the electric field and this is how we'll find the electric field due to a system of charges.